Imparlane Masters Champion here in Budapest. What's going through your mind? I'm uh, mostly happy. Like I can't believe it, uh, it happened because uh, one year ago I lost first round in the Masters, also first round in the World Championship. So making uh, to, to uh, getting gold in both, it's really um, like exciting for me. So in 2023, in this year alone, you've added your first Grand Slam gold, your first World Championship gold, and now your first Masters gold. I guess the only question is, how? <laughs> I think uh, things are uh, starting to um, add up, like all the hard works, um, all the hard work works. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, something clicks, and I found a way to uh, put my judo and my attitude into the fight. Uh, and I'm really happy it's uh, working out for me. So amongst all the successes, uh, looking at this medal specifically, what makes a master's title different or special from the rest? Uh, I still, um, like, uh, I don't know how it feels yet. I'm just really happy now. And uh, for me, another, another winnings of girls I didn't win before, it's important for me. Like, the title doesn't matter as much as uh, I felt during the day and uh, gaining more confidence. So the only thing missing from your collection now is Olympic gold and Grand Prix gold. Are we going to see also you? European gold. Oh yeah, and European yeah. gold. Um, are we going to see you at a Grand Prix uh, coming up soon? Uh, I don't know. It depends on the coat, but uh, I know uh, only a week ahead and uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so leading up to your final, uh, you were on the mat in total for less than a minute, which is absolutely insane. Um, talk us through your judo. Uh, is that something that you aim for when you go on the mat? I always look for positive score and to get an Nippon. And sometimes it works out um, at the first uh, attack. And sometimes it takes uh, two, three or four minutes. So I'm always uh, aiming for it and hoping it will happen. So um, that happened so quickly. Like, I'm happy about it. So going into the final, it was clear Malanga came with her dominating grip. She was ready to take control of the fight, but you seemed okay with that. Actually, you seemed to use that to your advantage in the end. Um, how did you prepare for this? Um, and how did you, yeah, just uh, handle it, that situation when it came? So she's really, really strong, and I know because I felt her already in training camps. And I knew she was going to come very aggressive, very eager to win. Uh, so we made a plan and uh, I was ready to get some uh, big uh, right arm and uh, just going with the plan. So Hungary has become like a second home for judo. You know, they've, they've hosted now everything from Grand Prix, Grand Slam, World Championships, Masters. Uh, what does it mean to you personally to uh, compete in Hungary? So um, I'm a quarter Hungarian and I have family here. My grandmother um, was born here and she moved uh, through the Holocaust. So it feels like a second home and it's really nice uh, being here and the atmosphere is great and everyone's so nice. So I'm always happy to come to Budapest. What will you do uh, from now until the games to continue this momentum and to hopefully complete that part of your collection? So I'm really focusing on uh, every day by itself and uh, I have so much to work on still and I'm far from being uh, my 100% so I'm really excited to see um, how better can I get and uh, there's a lot of um, small goals until the Olympics and I am um, going like to make it uh, when the peak is in the Olympics. All right, Imbar, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you.